Let's look at right triangle word problems. For example, a ladder leans against the side of a house. If the angle of elevation of the ladder is 69 degrees when the bottom of the ladder is 16 feet from the side of the house, let's find the length of the ladder. So let's let x equal that length. So looking over here in our figure, this is x then. Now how are we going to solve for x? Well, we have a right triangle here. And 16 here is the side adjacent to the given angle. And x here is the hypotenuse. And therefore, the cosine function can help us because remember, cosine of theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So for our triangle here, that means that cosine of 69 degrees is equal to the adjacent is 16, and the hypotenuse is x, which means that x is equal to 16 divided by cosine of 69 degrees. And plugging this into our calculator, we get that this is approximately 44.7 feet. Let's look at another example. A kite flying in the air has a 91-foot line attached to it, and the line is pulled taut. The angle of elevation of the kite is 63 degrees. Find the height of the kite. So let's let x equal the height of the kite. That is, looking in our figure here, this is x. So we have a right triangle. And x here is the side that's opposite this angle of 63 degrees. And 91 here is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So which trig function is going to help us here? Wouldn't that be sine? Because sine of theta, remember, is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. So in our situation, we have sine of 63 degrees then is equal to opposite is x, hypotenuse is 91, which means that x is equal to 91 times sine of 63 degrees. And putting this in our calculator gives us that this is approximately 81.1 feet. All right, and these are a few examples of right triangle word problems. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.